And those are 20 man life rafts. And then the orange bags in front are the survival gear. Jennifer Olson would normally be conducting this class on an actual aircraft, but with that, there's some limitations. So the second time they see the aircraft is with us, and we walk them through emergency procedures, crew positions, exits, everything. And then that's it. Um, everything else is done looking at a piece of paper, a PowerPoint, or a book. But you can't walk through a book, and students might get reprimanded for actually handling the oxygen bottles. Um, so it's a lot different than the aircraft where we're like, don't touch anything, don't mess, don't mess anything up. Um, they can grab this stuff and play with all of it. <laughs> Staff Sergeant Henai says VR training is a great opportunity for students to get familiar with the aircraft, but it's an even bigger benefit for the real world missions. It helps us with aircraft availability. We're not, you know, locking up a jet to do training with it. Um, it allows us to not have to transport the personnel all the way to the Lincoln to the flight line there. So, you know, you're not losing two hours a day in just transportation. Um, so it's two extra additional hours you can just have into the training itself. And if you're wondering if the students prefer this over traditional training. I, it's insane. It's awesome. Um, I think it's, it's really interesting being able to, to walk around. I mean, that for me, at least. According to Colonel John Latecki, the 55th Operations Group Commander, another advantage of ER training is the cost. And uh, we're seeing some immediate savings uh, as far as the number of maintenance lines that we need to produce uh, every year, uh, down from about, a, uh, we're reducing it by about 120 maintenance lines. Uh, and just alone in fuel for the rivet joint, that's about $4 million a year that we're saving. And then you're going to open that uh, skate patch? Uh, I think overall the, uh, the program is is a great benefit to the to the wing and to the group and I think we're just on the cusp of seeing what it what it can do for us uh, and that there's a lot more opportunity to the, uh, that we'll be able to see savings uh, in the future as we continue to develop the program. That way folks are able to go in and they can start getting uh, acclimated to the oxygen system. Lieutenant Colonel Charlie Shaw, the director of the 55th Operations Group Training says they'll continue to make great strides in VR training but he feels they're already ahead of the game because of the support from higher headquarters. A uh, humongous thank you uh, to 16th Air Force and their magic program. Uh, our VR program would not be where it is without them, uh, and we look forward to their continued support in the future. And because the students have already seen the inside of the aircraft, they don't have to focus on getting familiar with the inside of it. They can focus more on the mission. Reporting from Dias Hall, I'm J.B. Artley from the 55th Wing Public Affairs, where the sun never sets on the fight in 55th.